Let's go. You do need to be empty. <laughs> you also had a fucking ton of shit in your pockets. What the fuck? I think I just money. You need a uh, purse, dude. Yeah. Damn, Sass just unleashed. Yeah. <laughs> Sass looks light. Sass looks light and spry coming out of that. Is no. No. We're you just chilling. We, we just did a promo vid. We don't, you don't have to. It's really your call. Okay. We also just did a promo vid. He he tried all the barstool booze brands, the big deal, the pirate water. <laughs> Damn, what are these things? Bro, you're from Philly, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which part? Uh, Delco. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you were fucking like king of the dot, bro. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, that's fucking sick. Why you ever watch that shit? Back in the this? day, before before your time, dude. <laughs> before my time, I was at the first event. <laughs> it didn't I, happen before. Never mind. I guess I've been watching your whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been doing it for literal like I'm in my third decade. <laughs> okay. I think mean, it's just not. Set Is that up your right. whole life? It's it's uh well I started in like the two in like the two thousand like eight yeah or whatever and then like was doing it through the tens and now we're in the twenties bro yeah. I'm in my third decade so yeah. it feels God like my damn, whole, dude. whole fucking life your motherfucking tube steak <laughs> <laughs> bro that was literally my first YouTube comment or my first World Star comment someone was like I I like oh God I would snuff this cracker like tube steak. <laughs> <laughs> I responded to it in my first response video. That also made World Star. Yeah. So I set us off, bro. Oh. Let me get some nuts first. <laughs> now let me crack a cold brew for the pod. You got to crack a cold one for a fresh pod. <laughs> Wait, you're getting a little Wayne intro. <laughs> 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 you a real one for this, Lemaire. Yeah. <laughs> Lemaire, you got a whole fucking yeah. It's all my drugs, your... okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made a stop. I'm going to get high after this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been professional long enough. <laughs> yeah. Bro, take five minutes. Get high first. You want to get high first? No, I'll be fine, dude. All right, fair enough. Yeah. All right, ready. Yes. You guys don't smoke on the pod? No, we do, we do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can do whatever you want on the podcast. Yeah, you really can. No one's going to come in here and be like, you're, this is against the rules. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that erupted out of you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You look like an angry teapot with that coming out of your nose. <laughs> that can, almost broke the thing. <laughs> Benny the Bull. My God. <laughs> It was insane. I have to call the smoke. That was insane. That was nuts. Dude, you right. and Gilly must be boys, then, dude. No, Gilly. Gilly. Yeah. I mean, we have smoked. Gilly the a, King. We have smoked. A, you know, it's how it's Wallow's surprise birthday party on uh, this Wednesday. Yeah. In Philly, and uh, he Gilly put me and Wallow in a group chat and was like, "Surprise birthday party on Wednesday." Yeah. Like, hit me up personally for uh, the location or whatever, and yeah. I hit him up. It's like we're I'm going down on on. Uh, on Wednesday, and he was yeah. like, I was like, what should I get him? He was like, get him a bunch of gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, so I'm going to get him a huge dildo. I'm going to get him a fucking big-ass double-sided dildo or something like that. Give it to him for his birthday. <laughs> it's funny that he wanted me to get him gay shit. Though. Is it actually a surprise or no? Yeah. Damn. But he doesn't know where it is, and he, I was, he was also on the text that said it was a surprise. So not that surprising, but no. I wonder what it's going to be like, though. Is that like... I mean, Wallace is not going to listen to this. It's out like a steakhouse. It's probably going to be insane. Oh, is it? I know. I know exactly Take what guess. steakhouse is. Yeah. Barclay Prime. I, it might be. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. It's like Barclay yeah. Prime or Ocean Prime or something like yeah. that. I don't know. They both exist there. <laughs> I wonder yeah, yeah, if it's yeah. like a private room, or are we going to be milling about, or am I going to be like seated at dinner with them or some yeah. shit? I can't see me seated at dinner with them. Yeah. How do? Why not? Given toast like it's the Rock Nation, yeah, brunch, like, <laughs> like Kevin Hart. Uh, maybe it will be though. I feel like they're, they're getting classy. I yeah. feel like Walla would like that. Like a Dude, like, you're seated. A <laughs> You're there, Eminem. Giving motivational <laughs> you're, the, you're the white guy that shows up in all the pictures. I am, yeah. kind of, dude. I need to get a 50 cent. I need to get an <laughs> underling. It's six. Set us off, though, Sass. All right. So welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today we are joined by Lamare Lee. Hello. <laughs> What's up? Comedian, entertainer. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gotta start using the entertainer line more. <laughs> yeah, it does make it a little yeah. sexual. Yeah. I just wanna be Lamare the Entertainer. Lamare the Entertainer. That's, <laughs> that's a good my name. new moniker. Yeah, that would be a like good wrestling name. name. Lamare the Entertainer Jr. <laughs> <laughs> you got Lamare, do you have three different drinks going right now? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> He's at Barstool. He's got the drinking pyro a pyro water, a Coors Light, and a Dude, Labatt. You guys got so no, much free deal. Look, you guys got so much free stuff. And nobody ever takes advantage of it. <laughs> you guys are too prideful. We do, but we just nah, we can't man. drink every single day on the job. Ah, shut up. Ah, come on. Come on. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up yeah. <laughs> but last time you were in here, you came out with like a fucking a steak and a, a rack of ribs. <laughs> yeah, hit yeah. a whole lot. Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> Did you bring that with you? <laughs> what, the plate? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. <laughs> It is sick. You guys need to fuck around and get a uh, Outback sponsorship, dude, or like Chili's, <laughs> baby back ribs, yeah, something Public like that. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the way. He also cracked yeah. into the Pink Whitney. Yeah. He also oh, took damn. a whack of the wit. Whitney's nice. If I mix it with some lemonade, I'd fuck that Whitney up all. I'd, 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 dude, uh, honestly, if me you and just... that Whitney would get high, I'd be that Bobby. I'd be, <laughs> yeah. I'd be, I'd be black Bobby. smacking that <laughs> smacking that Whitney around. Did honestly, he ever dude, her? you just put like ice and no. water. It tastes like lemonade. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's pretty nice. But the lemonade with the lemonade might set it off to a whole different level. Come on, man. Yeah. Or iced tea, make it a pink uh, Arnold Palmer. Tina Turner. <laughs> 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 make it a Tina <laughs> Turner. <laughs> Yo, they need to make that. That yeah. sounds fucking incredible. R.I.P., dude. Didn't she just die? Tina Turner? Yeah, I think yeah, she I just think, died. Right? Whitney dead, Tina Turner <laughs> yeah. dead, Bobby? Still alive, dude. Is he? Bobby yeah. Brown's kicking. You know what they say about crack, dude. It, yeah. <laughs> it's whack. But like also it, it will you preserve you a lot yeah. forever. Yeah. yeah. It pickles your organs. Yeah. 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 It will preserve you for sure. While what is the average life expectancy like on crack? Of a crackhead? Yeah. Probably like 40. Because yeah. the effects hit real fast. There was like a soft white underbelly episode where this guy. He was interviewing this lady on crack. She was like, I just started crack a couple months ago. I love it. I'm never going to stop. And then two months later, she had no teeth and no hair. And she yeah. was like, Damn. I can't believe yeah. I kept on crack. <laughs> How does it make your teeth fall out? Like, What is the function of crack? Is, that's it, making... is, it, is it you're doing shit while you're on crack that makes your teeth fall out? <laughs> sucking so much dick for like the crack? Probably like grinding your yeah. teeth a lot. That's not good uh, PR for cum, dude. If it like, <laughs> It's not a good PR for this cum. This toxic cum that <laughs> yeah. just melts your teeth in your mouth just yeah. dissolves your bones you're probably like ripping your hair out and shit she's probably the ultimate face fuck you know yeah she was like knock my teeth out yeah <laughs> yeah she probably knock yeah my teeth out <laughs> crackhead sex is probably crazy dude wild i bet yeah <laughs> like, there's no rules on crackhead sex no <laughs> Not at all. They're yeah. both jackrabbiting. <laughs> it's like taking two Theraguns and putting them tip to tip. Like, <laughs> you guys don't, don't, don't shoot it. You guys the don't banana got backwards? The, you guys don't got banana those in New York. backwards. No. <laughs> Where the hell backwards, did you get these? Uh, New Jersey. Backwards you you two, smoke backwards? Yeah, dude. I'm probably going to finish that pack today. <laughs> God damn, yeah. Lemaire. These things how, are crazy. How does the pack look? How, how's it, are they looking nice and moist? There's some dark ones in there, dude. There's some darkens. There's yeah, some darkies. Nothing, no, no, not too many uh, veins on those bitches nah, or what, dude? dude? No, I need Explain to... the vein. What's the, what is it, what is, why don't you want the vein in the I backwoods? Want to keep it sturdy so it's not a flimsy backwood. Mm. You need like one. Backwoods are crazy. They're hard to roll. No. They're not yeah. that hard. Dude. No, they're like the easiest one because it's just one leaf and you just roll it over yeah. almost like a joint. I, I been, thought I was, they were hard as hell. I was smoking like a, because, uh, I've been in New York for a couple days, and I had to smoke a Fronto the other day. Oh, you're, are you like staying in New York right now? No, no, you're just, <laughs> you're just coming down here every yeah. day. Yeah, just for some dumb reason. No, <laughs> every single day. No, I like this place. I'm so sorry. I've been talking a lot of shit about New York. No, like, you was shitting on it big time my, before yeah, we started recording. No, dude, I was, and then you know I can't. Why I gotta, do you hate it? <sighs> all right. He said it's it was hot. It's hot. He said it was too hot. It's and then we were talking hot. about the possibility of him moving to Austin. And he was like, <laughs> Austin's going to be so great. And I'm like, it's dude, it's going to be 9,000 degrees there. But they have a dry heat. No. <laughs> it's, yeah, Austin is so hot. It's impossibly hot yeah. at like the weird In like time the winter. Of the but yeah. you know what's weird? I'd rather be around snake rattlesnakes than like rats. Yeah, that's like, true. Like that's the big thing. Is the And the trash... There needs to be a better system for trash. Trash system here is fucked. Yeah. Why don't you guys like drop it underground or something and then like have a... <laughs> why isn't there a big conveyor belt underground under the road that takes it to a dump where you all just burn it 
or some shit. I don't know where. Where does it even go? Probably somewhere in like New Jersey or some shit. <laughs> yeah, it's Jersey City. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I saw some shit the other day that when they were excavating the World Trade Center site, they found a ship from like 1780 or something really? like that. That was the same wood that they used to build Independence Hall in Philly. But they said that back then they used to just like they were m- making trash they were throwing trash into a landfill in new york and letting that like fill out lower manhattan <laughs> yeah like they're just making more land with the trash, trash and they're yeah. compacting it all on top of one another yeah, which smart. would be sick they should just fucking connect yeah. long or like whatever connect brooklyn you, to manhattan that's kind of happening in the ocean right now where all the plastic is collecting and it's yes, forming dude. a continent and everyone's like stop it it's like no this is nature <laughs> <laughs> if we plant a flag in that trash yeah. we start building a hotel on it we're fucking billionaires yeah. Yeah. Marriott. <laughs> yeah. They probably will do that yeah. eventually. Some cabanas on it yeah. or some shit. Like that's that. like the whole. That's like what Wally is about. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Tr- trash planet. They have like a whole. They have like cities of trash. Yeah, everything's made of trash. Yeah, it's just robots fucking stacking trash. Yeah, there's pretty. There's some nice cities out there, like where they don't have trash everywhere. That's a New York problem. Yeah, I'm it's trying to think fact- of like. W- there's like countries where there's just no trash <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, Delaware. You, they don't have outdoor trash cans, and it's clean as fuck. Yeah, yeah. not that Delaware is a country, but there's definitely countries <laughs> that are fucking that that are beautiful and like. Uh, no, there's Delaware. also some countries where they just throw everything outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like India, <laughs> did In- they throw it all? I, I think they- so. Yeah. Not my, one of my friends just got back from India, and he was like, "They shit in holes out there." And I was like, "I can't. That's where I can't go to any country where I'm expected to like shit wipe my ass, like yeah, like yeah. just float it over a hole and then like wipe my ass with my like bare hand yeah, or whatever, like BYO toilet paper." My shit sprays too much. It'd be on my socks. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tough time. I wonder why, as you like hit the pirate water mixed with the Coors Light, mixed with the Big Deal, Crazy. mixed with the pink mm-hmm. lemonade vodka. I've never seen anything I'm like gonna this. Have a Ever. right after <laughs> yeah you are you're gonna force it out three <laughs> separate drinks like you're taste testing them I like am he's at brunch them, <laughs> you've never had a Coors Light before I love Coors Light that's, Coors Coors Light. that's like it's the a, water it's a cold Coors Light it's too. a palate cleanser yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. look how blue those mountains are I know those mountains are blue as hell <laughs> damn dude <laughs> weed coughs I'm sorry no, that's fine. Yeah. What have you been doing up in New York this whole time other than fucking judging our <laughs> trash piles? What's wrong with our fucking cummy trash piles? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the trash Our fucking <laughs> mounds of mattresses that rats are just fucking oh, eating through. Dude, I had a bad one the other day walking home from the stand. Uh, like, w- like, walked by a pile of trash. Had to have been 30 rats. Mm. Like, s- all scurried out of it. It was a rat kink. Yeah. It was fucking, just dis- <laughs> like, I, I I was disgusting. And now every time I walk by that, I, I cross the street before going over there. Because you know that the rats have found that pile. <laughs> Dude, it was, it, it was well, it was probably 30, maybe 50 Dude, rats. you were at a rat orgy. Yeah. <laughs> it was fucking disgusting. They saw you coming. It was like, feds is coming. We gotta yeah. get out of here. Oh, it was terrible. Dude. He paid to get into the rat orgy. They wouldn't let him in. <laughs> yeah. Bro. I listen to your guy's show, yeah, bro. Dude. I know what type of time you're on with me. <laughs> Oh yeah, the orgies. Yeah. We gave him cheese. I haven't been to one successfully yet. I talk a lot of shit about going, but I, I, I'm always. Bro, you know there has to be orgies in New York. I, I, I There's probably like 30 active orgies right, right now. now. Anytime, not within to, a mile of not here. Not to say it, I have access to orgies in New York, like right now. Like, how do you if find? There was one, huh? How did you find like the Reddit? Is there like a what is it called? Oh well, well sometimes sometimes it's Reddit, but sometimes you just like. Know people, and you have to know people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know an orgy guy. Yeah, I hope yeah. so, dude. Like, yeah. how does that even come up? You just got a buddy who's like a big orgy guy. Yeah, honestly, yeah, Damn. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, literally, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of my friends uh, in uh, in Pennsylvania, his name's Mike Boyer. He used to What's his to- address? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're giving his, exa- yeah, his you're full name of your orgy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He's fine. He's comfortable with it. If he wasn't comfortable with it, I wouldn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he. Uh, he went to a place in Philly called TJ's Pleasure Garden with his ex-wife all the time. And uh, where's it at? <laughs> TJ's it's Pleasure Philly, Garden, like uh, it's near. It's I think it's near the Purple Orchard and stuff, like off like like Sixty Third Street. Is that what it is? I think. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Was that West Philly? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's no West. It's like the bottom of Philly started Delco. It was like 
Yeah. So you get the suburban crowd drawn in, but city <laughs> slickers yeah, can yeah. fucking migrate yeah. out to TJ's Pleasure Garden. Yeah. TJ's Pleasure Garden is a wild man. <laughs> you think TJ always had the idea that he wanted to open up an orgy A pleasure shop? garden? Dude, yeah. Can you imagine this? This guy is living his dream. Every day he walks in, he's like, I can't believe I built this. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone? Is there, is there like hot people there? Or is it all just like, like I feel like it's got to be like 70 dudes in and New like York, two girls. Some in New York? No. Because like uh Or is there like rankings? Like they put you where you belong. They're like, couples, this is your orgy. Couples get in cheaper than single dudes do. Yeah. So it's couples for Cause sure. Because there's a woman to fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You bring a woman, you get 20% off. $10 yeah. off if you let us fuck your wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's such a wild proposition. And but trying to you, save some money, babe. Fuck these guys. And you get to fuck someone else's wife, though. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Yeah, unless you don't. I don't know. It seems like yeah. the numbers game, like not every yeah, every dude. mouth can get fed at you this don't if be all these dudes. You don't want to be the lonely get the last guy at an orgy. No, <laughs> like, no. Like crying behind your mask. Do they have like food there? <laughs> so, yeah. Like what's the food situation at Somebody the Somebody told me it's like, uh, just like uh, charcuterie. He said it was wings. <laughs> Ziti, ziti salad. Ziti? Yeah. Oh, dude, ziti is not an orgy food. You don't you do eat not a want lot of you ziti. No. You do not want to fill up on ziti the before an orgy. For, uh, <laughs> the, charcuterie is crazy. The ziti's for after, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, I you see. You know, you got a carbo load. To yeah, get, to carbo drive load. home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To drive yeah. home. What yeah. the fuck? So <laughs> before is more like cheese and crackers, like something. Salads, yeah. A nice yeah. manchego. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then afterwards, when you really dive in. Some Iberian ham. Yeah. What the fuck? You know your cheeses, dude. You know Manchego, bro. You know I was about to start yeah. listing them. Yeah, you like cheeses? My brother, uh, my brother is a he's a cheesemonger. He actually like works with cheese. He's a oh, pro. Che he's a pro yeah. cheesemonger. Yeah. He's a yeah. professional yeah. cheese guy. Yeah, that's awesome. One thing about cheese, it, it definitely makes your cum stink, dude. That <laughs> orgy probably has the stinkiest loads, dude. Yeah. These guys are just woofing down on cheese yeah. and immediately polluting the fucking yeah. air. That's nasty just of them. Some soft brie. Yeah. Do you ever go to his uh, like his like a cheese his plating? Job? Yeah, yeah, his job. He, never, he, never to like a plating or anything. He just he yeah, he's like a he. He's a, he's cheese and most of the job is cutting cheese. Like he just cuts cheese. <laughs> he just cuts the cheese. Yeah, yeah he knows this shit. But yeah, he's just a, a pro at cheese. cheese. I yeah. like cheese. I'm, I'm I'm big into a nice sharp cheddar. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We got to get you into some better cheese, dude. Sharp cheddar is good. I, I was in Iceland and I had a lot. We were we were eating char, sharp cheddar the whole time. You guys were damn good. Blocks of Velveeta. Yeah, she was good as hell. <laughs> Off the brick. Yeah, just biting into dude, it. Like I a heard about bar. your life and your choices recently. You got to get it together, dude. What? What did I do? What happened? <laughs> what the f you have a mini fridge for a fridge? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I that is. True. Was that your choice? No, that's what the apartment like came with. That's what it came with. Yeah, but there's no room for a big fridge. It's like built in underneath the. Uh, like countertop the, like a cheap hotel room. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. yeah. Just get roommates, dude. No, no. The just apartment's get, great. The apartment's great. The, the the fridge is actually you deserve a massive a whole pain fridge. in the ass. You, yeah. des you deserve a whole fridge. You're I don't even need the fridge. The fridge is not the problem. You shouldn't be spoiling in your yeah, fridge, dude. See, that's the problem is that it doesn't get <laughs> yeah. cold enough. Like, it gets cold enough for, like, drinks. Like, all my drinks are ice cold. Yeah, but Diet Cokes. The meats. Yeah, the Diet Cokes. Yeah. The meats. <laughs> you definitely can't even put, like, a two liter in your fridge. You have to pour it out into small cups. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, put them all in. Like, you could have put a whole watermelon in no, your fridge. No, it's not that small. It's not like it's not like a dorm mini how fridge. Big is it's it? bigger than that. Like how big? Like it, it, like like it, 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 the free. There's no freezer. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. But fridge so wise, right. it it is a completely big enough fridge. Your vegetables are fine. Yeah, like like it it fits more than like I can put anything. I I never run out of space. It's just the the freezer is the problem. There's yeah. no freezer. I'll tell you the other problem is you cook on top of your refrigerator. That's a big yeah, problem. That too. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, because that just adds heat right on top <laughs> yeah. of the yeah. place you're supposed to be keeping it the coolest. <laughs> yeah, the are you garbage dude said that yeah, they were like, so pretty much you just have a hot plate. <laughs> you do. I mean, you exactly, exactly have a hot plate. Have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking yeah. bad. An electric stove. So it's actually an induction surface. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, the other night the I got like an urge to smoke <laughs> weed. Ooh. And I had a joint. I have a joint that's that I got from the yak. Someone yeah. gave it to me. And uh but that I was a, a year and a half ago. No, this was like a couple weeks ago. TJ gave me it. And then I got uh I didn't have a lighter. You leaned over the stove? So I tried to heat I tried to burn it. I tried to light it on the electric stove yeah. and it just melted the paper. I'll it never you, like caught flame. It I'll just, tell you like, what to do. Melted. You you get another long piece of paper. I did that. I did. Yeah. I I put a paper towel on the stove and then it just got or it just burnt it. It never yeah. got, never, never lit. Yeah. I did it with like 
uh, like a note card. Yeah. Yeah. No card was like perfect enough. It like it like lit on fire. Yeah. From just like an electric stove, yeah, not just like a gas put stove. Put the corner on it and it was. Damn. I've done it on an electric stove as well, just like uh, waiting for it to get hot on the edge, just like having it square on the. On That's the what stove. I did, and it did, it was just melting the paper, like the paper was just shriveling up and melting. Oh, <laughs> paper shouldn't melt, dude. I don't it think did. that was paper. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it was. Was it like yeah. wax paper? Sounds or like you got a lot of steel beams. No. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that shit's not right. I don't know what it was. It, it, it didn't work. And were you I smoking gave up. weed because you were sober? Yeah, but then I was like, ah, I don't know. I was like, I don't even really want to smoke weed, and this is way too much effort. All right, so, so I just put it back in the case and here's another went to bone bed. To pick, dude. I know. I look. This might seem minuscule to most people. Yeah, but but why the fuck are you playing a PS4? Oh, because I don't have a PS5. Get on him, man. <laughs> Get a PS5. You have a PS5? No, I play on PC. I'm superior. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have a Steam Deck. The Steam Deck's sick, dude. Yeah, PS5. <laughs> PC is crazy, but yeah. I I don't need a PS5 yet. What, what do you mean you don't need a PS5? Because all the games that I play, they run fine you on PS4. You need a PS5 four years ago, brother. Yeah. How What's long the difference? You? Explain the difference. It's well, faster. The, it's faster. It's more powerful. It's like a, the low times or no times. The games, too. The games don't make your fucking house sound like it's going to blow Explode, up. Yeah. 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 The play PS4. Game, yeah, it overheats. My, like, like I've had mine shut down. Yeah, because really? it can't handle the games anymore. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you need a PS Five. I do need a PS Five. Can you right. can you buy them yet? Like, I know yeah. there was a big thing where you couldn't buy them. For you a while, have enough bro. money, Sass. You you make enough money. Yeah, dude. But they they're they're hard to get. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Not for you, dude. Talk about. Do you guys have a gaming show yet? We did for a while. I don't know well, if we Sass. still do. We need one. I'm looking for a job. Let's do a gaming show. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should. Come I on, would. Bro. Yeah. You what would? games do you play? I play right now. I'm playing Civ Six, RimWorld, Street Fighter Six. I love fighting games mostly. Yeah. And all the fighting game people are in New York, dude. We can fucking have a ball and ass. There's a big show. fighting game community here. The fighting game community is big in New York, North California, Southern California. There's people Damn. in Atlanta and Midwest too. Canada's pretty big. Pakistan. It's a whole different subculture Why? that people don't know about. Why those places? Uh, because they're probably more poor <laughs> and like, oh, with a fighting game, all you need is a controller, a console and a disc. Like, like every, like every other single other game? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fucking PC. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. I'm in the master race. You don't need to be, you, you have a PC for fighting <laughs> games? Yeah, That's dude. crazy. They look so good. I know. Do you have like the whole, do you have like the whole like glow up setup? No, I don't have the glow. I have a, like a, uh. I bought my my PC's old now. I bought it during the pandemic when they were giving us mucho, yeah. mucho Dolores. Oh yeah, yeah. tons of Dolores. Dude. <laughs> yeah. It was incredible. Did you get a lot of money on that. <sighs> Come on, don't don't get me out here. Yeah. Don't get me in trouble. What's the whole setup like? Are you uh, you have like a whole dedicated part of your house where you have like uh, LED lights and like a sweet ass chair and shit like yeah, that? Yeah, you got a chair. I'll tell you this. I did. I did just buy a chair. Hell yeah! It's a white chair for my kids. It's pretty nice. About a hundred. Oh, you don't have like a good. gaming chair though. No, it's a gaming chair, brother. But Why? you have one of those white. ones with a massive back. One yeah. of those ones that it looks like you're sitting on a throne. It has the damn, it has the damn matrix connector on the back. You know, the damn. thing that holds your neck up? Yeah. The yeah. matrix connector. It has yeah. one of them. I got to get one of those. Yeah. I it's, just have a desk chair. Like a rolly desk chair. I upgraded from the rolly desk chair because I broke my rolly desk oh, chair. Oh, damn. I upgraded. Just being fat, you know. Fat. <laughs> not, not, not a rage yeah. break. <laughs> nah, natural fat wear and tear. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> that should happen. Bro. Yeah. The gaming chairs are built for people to be fat and to like stay fat if it's going to yeah. support your oh, neck. yeah. Like your muscles are going to atrophy. Yeah. It's like, no, nah, I don't need to hold my neck up. Yeah. My yeah. chair will hold yeah. my neck up when for I'm, me. When I'm playing games in a chair, I catch. I just turn into this. Like no matter what, I just turn into this. I got to be like, yo, all right, sit back. Yeah. Yeah, I do so that too. Yeah. I lean yeah. fully forward. No, I feel forward. like leaning forward is good for your uh, lower back, though. No, like dude, they're posting all like... those pictures being like, this is what gamers are going to look, like look like by 2030. You look like, like turtles. What? And they're, they're <laughs> like, everyone's like super leaning forward. And that's like, that's what I already look like. But you could sit up straight and like be on the right bones of your body. That's yeah. what you think, but then, like you, then you get like into an intense like, like moment this. in the game and then you <laughs> lean forward again. Yeah, dude, if you're playing games right, like, you know how like when you're like uh, in perfect like, Three point stance, your knee, your feet, and your shoulders are square. Yes. When you're in gaming stance, your controller and your head are square. It's like yeah, exactly. <laughs> perfect gaming it's just stance. Perfect like ergonomic gaming. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, this is like when anybody is like this when they're gaming, they're in the zone. You cannot beat that guy. Are you playing on a TV or a PC or a um, monitor? I have a BenQ monitor, dude. Yeah, monitor is yeah. the way to go. Yeah. That's Man. what I do too. TVs, TVs don't have enough 
DPIs. No, not at all. Fuck yeah. is a DPI? Density <laughs> Fool. per inch. Pixel per inch. It must have been PPI. TVs don't have enough PPIs. Pixels per inch. <laughs> they don't. Holy fuck, dude. I've been using a TV this whole time like an idiot. You well, don't know, you're you're also play playing on games. like a PlayStation. Now. I'm not playing. I'm watching uh, TV. Uh, Ron, uh, Ron doesn't, okay. Ron doesn't have, do you have a console? Uh, Xbox. You have one at your house? Yeah. yeah. Set up? Yeah. Do you play games? Or mm -hmm. No. No. I did, time during, you played I games. did during the pandemic. What do you use it to do? I don't use it. I was watching video. I was watching uh, like uh, Oscar screeners on it when they were coming in DVDs. <laughs> That's dude, the last thing I use it what for. What the hell? Are you a part of the Writers Guild? I was, yeah. Oh, dude, I, strike, dude. Get your money, bro. No, dude. I, I've been part of the guild. I've been just paying them dues every single year and getting nothing from it. Like, yeah. I don't get jobs from it. All I get is the screeners, so I need to use them. Yeah, healthcare. But I'm, I get health care from here, too. I have oh, health care. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. need their bitch-ass fucking writer's <laughs> health care, dude. I don't need the True. writer's strike. Are you in the writer's guild? No, I wish. You, do you? I would love to be at a picket line right now. Yeah. No, <laughs> picket what? Line would be sick. That sounds terrible. No Hell more no. AI. Yeah, AI yeah. is gay. AI is gay. Picket lines just are Just to get sick. the guys yelling that, dude. All if the LA AI writers. can beat you at writing something, dude, you just got to hang it up as a writer yeah. anyway. Do you want to hear so a beat bad. I made with AI? Yeah. Big time. You made that a shit. beat with I AI? I made a beat with AI the other day because I'm making I'm making a new podcast. Uh, it's, What's it going to be called? It's Angles. Angles. It, yeah, and it's about professional wrestling. It's going to be about uh, the stories of professional wrestling. Like the story Like lines. Kurt Angle. <laughs> well, the, one of the episodes were going to be it was about Perk Angle, and that's when Kurt Angle was high on Percocets. <laughs> he was doing the craziest shit on Perk Percocets, Angle. dude. Yeah. All right, wait. None of them you saved. made a beat with AI. Yeah. Wait, Damn. play, bro, play that shit. Yeah, play it. This, okay. I mean, this this one's called Shy Pirate. I didn't or Shy Pirate. I didn't make the name, but it. Did. Is, come on, dude. Uh. AI did this? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Let's turn off the top line. Damn, you making this right now? You yeah, got a I'm lot adjusting. of movement on that phone. I'm adjusting. Angles. Oh, this dude mixing in the spot. Dude, you know, I'm fucking... Is this I'm AI fucking... that made this, or is this just like a... I think that, that's been around for a while, the automated beat. The show Angles. Watch the dick dangle. <laughs> <laughs> what app is that? It's called uh, Asmodeus. Asmodeus. Hey, let's... Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this is like Riders this feels on the like Storm. feels like more of like a shit. jazz beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to save that the one. The hi-hat. Yeah, you got to save that one. Yeah, that's theme music. Yeah, that's don't, definitely don't, theme don't music. release that whole thing yet. Yeah, dude. No, never mind. Get that. No. <laughs> Dan, we got to check out Angles, dude. We got to oh, fucking. Yeah. People made, I saw people made like, uh, someone put out like a full Drake song with AI. Yeah. But it was also, uh, like I read the, like the guy made the song and also wrote the song lyrics and like made the melodies. Oh, so he just had Drake sing it? And yeah. he just used Drake AI to like sing Sing over it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that impressive. I think AI has been a little bit overblown. Definitely. Dude. I downloaded the chat chat GPT and it's just like, yeah. it's Google. Yeah. In a sense. In a sense. It's but it's not that much crazier than Google. In, in, a, in a way, I'm sure they yeah. could write an essay for me or some shit yeah. like that. But at the same time, it's just like giving me answers to yeah. shit. It's like the next level of Google. Yeah. Where like Google wasn't certain. AI is certain. Google, you search for something, it's like... Uh, I think you'll like this. I think yeah. you'll like this. I think you like this. But with AI, it's like, this is what you want. This is what you want. This is what you want. And you're like, yeah. Yeah, that's, right. that's <laughs> true. That makes sense. The, uh, what, what was the, um, the, I, I feel like the AI, like the best thing it's used for right now is just like copywriting. Mm hmm what do you mean? Like all like copywriting jobs can just be done with AI. Yeah, yeah those jobs probably sucked and never should have existed in the first yeah. place. Yeah. Copywriting jobs do what is, suck. What dude. is copywriting? It's just, just people like getting doing... like a... Uh, shit from other businesses and being like can you make this make sense and then like yeah that man. sounds dumb as hell anyway yeah. like if anyone counted that as one of their skills like they actually had no skills <laughs> there's probably a lot of copywriting jobs out there that are getting taken by ai yeah yeah i don't even, think it's going to be as big of a deal as people say it is though like what do you well it's just going to create new industries it's just going to be like there you can be an ai manipulator because like just because ai creates a thing it doesn't mean you know how to create shit with AI. Yeah. So just because you put in, you're like, uh, these words, these words, these words, that might not be the thing you want, 
It might give you something, but you have to figure out the consistency and getting the things you want and figure out how to like use it to make the next thing better. It's not like I uh, I use AI to generate art so I can mix them for posters. Yeah. And that helps me a lot. Cause you I'm actually not, do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, so you're like, like an a, you're like an AI. You're the man. You're the AI guy. I just guy. know a little bit. I don't know a lot. I know you seem a like you know bit. a lot. You're making posters with AI. You're making fucking beats with AI. I was under the impression that you could just be like, write, out a, write me a story. And they would yeah. do it. Yeah. That's just like, that's, that's, that's starter. the basic that's, base. That's yeah. starter level. Yeah. That's the base into it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You're making posters with AI? Like have you made like have you like like do you have one as an like example? A combined Let's do an example right now. Can, can you can you like pop up? What would, what would it be like being like? Can you make me like a Greek looking? Like, I've tried to do those like those apps with like the like the the, the, the you know the photo of like Trump Wait, getting can you arrested. You go to like this. Does this work? No, <laughs> no not at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You can't connect to this thing. <laughs> I think you you probably can no. somehow. Yeah, you guys gotta but, get the Intel Wi Fi. No, nah, we don't have like a Jamie. Yeah. fucking dude but uh yeah, three the, other dudes in here they're just big lamare fans yeah, they just no. wanted to sit and watch oh what the hell <laughs> no, no way no way the uh let's hot box <laughs> <laughs> have no, you ever you seen take, let's take you want to take five minutes to smoke bro no no no, no, that's okay, no, that's okay, no i think ron just wants to smoke i do now that you're uh, waving this weed in my face oh, dude, about well, if you house? want to smoke let's smoke dude i'll smoke i don't i don't give a fuck you guys can smoke if you want <laughs> oh hell yeah. Hey guys, let's take a second and talk about the Barstool Sports Book. What? Is that the Barstool Sports Book that's up right in my hand right now? Of course it is because it's my favorite app to gamble with. And let me show you a couple of the features. They got exclusives up here where you can bet with some of your favorite Barstool personalities you could play that i casino which means all kinds of fun slot games and of course you know me i love to find some sports to gamble on i just found a little bit of golf so i would go over to this pga tour tab and i bet on whatever golf i want to bet on next up the travelers you could bet on that in there maybe major league baseball ncaa baseball all that stuff is available right now. We're about 80, 75 days away from football season. You know I'm going to be on the Barstool Sportsbook the entire time. In fact, I was driving through New Jersey yesterday. I put in a $1,000 wager on the Phillies to win the World Series at 35 to 1. So let's get busy, dude. Pretty solid bet right there. Pretty solid bet. I almost got there last year at a 40 to 1. Now I'm 35 to 1. I'm in on the Phillies. I'm in on the Barstool Sportsbook. And Fuck you yeah. can too. Download the app. Sign up for the Barstool Sportsbook today. Terms apply. Must be 21 years or older. Must be 21 or older. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler. Now back to the show. Oh, yeah. I'm back in the block. I'm taking over. I'm in the drop top. All righty, let's talk about Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. This summer, Hello Fresh is here to take the work out of eating well. Reach your goals with delicious, calorie smart, and protein smart lunch and dinner options, plus new vegan recipes too. And you can also get farm to table quality with every Hello Fresh box. Hello Fresh's seasonal ingredients are picked at peak right ripeness and travel from the farm to your doorstep in, in less, less than, than seven, seven days. days for fresh flavor in every bite so you know it's going to be fresh and that's why we say hello every time they come to our door so we can get them this summer you can spend less time meal planning and prepping with hello fresh's pre-proportioned ingredients that make it easy to get cooking quick no matter what your lifestyle is you'll find choices for delicious recipes on hello fresh and that awesome menu they have over there like pescatarian or veggie options. You can even swap proteins to make or sides to make a recipe just how you like it. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Sun16 and use code Sun16 Sun 16. Sun 16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Fuck yeah. 
Dude, so you got to see a little bit of the office when we walked over there. Yeah, yeah. LeMaire loves the free stuff. He's just constantly <laughs> looking for free shit. Dude, I love Sticky free Sticky fingers, stuff, LeMaire. I was, like, I was like, yeah, the office is kind of dead right now because they're like rearranging everything and setting it up for whenever he goes to Chicago. And he's like, oh, that's awesome. He's like, there's going to be so much new free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you guys should get a batting cage in there on the other side. I know. That would be sick. I think we're getting a pool table. <sighs> that's pretty sick. That would be awesome. You guys are missing a pool, pool table. But yeah, sick. hammock would be nice. Do you like kit, uh, bumper cars? I'm okay. I don't. I, it's all right. I don't like. I'm not like great. I what the hell pool. does "son of a boy dad" mean? Does it mean Sass like came up with it, bro? I don't even. Get Rowan it, came dude. up with it. I don't no, know. No, 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 Does it mean like you want to be near your dad? Because <laughs> I, I, I understand that feeling a lot. <laughs> yeah. You know, I like have your no dad's idea. Too busy to hang out with. <laughs> like, is that how you feel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not the analyze your name <laughs> uh, roan came up with it i think it was supposed to be a take on the whole kobe like girl dad oh uh, okay but just all guys are a son of a boy like a boy dad yeah. is a, all guys are son of a yeah, boy dad it's for the yeah. fellas it's, it's a, a podcast, podcast for men yeah dude when it's you're a, a real when you're a real man you you fucking hang out with the boys exactly day. yes yeah. every <laughs> day yeah strictly dudes all uh, of our dads are boy dads my actual podcast not the wrestler one it's called panties in the mouth yeah and <laughs> And that's because... Bro, how'd uh, you come up with that name, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What does it mean? See, dude, is that about like your wait, father? No, dude, like you're trying to be closer? To your dad's... Wait, dude, let me give you a spiel. Break it down. <laughs> What's the wait, spiel? I've been practicing this. Uh, so I do it with my friends. Two of my best friends, Nate Marshall and Andy Malafrida. I'm saying it sarcastically, but they actually are my best friends. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nate Marshall and Andy Malafrida. And we do a podcast called Penis and Mouth because one time when we were like young, open mic comedians, uh, they were arguing... And Nate said, girls always love it when you stick panties in their mouth. And Andy said, I think sometimes. And then they got into a really big argument for like two or three weeks that almost ended the friendship. Damn. Damn. Yeah, Over yeah, panties yeah. in the mouth? Yeah. Yeah. It and was then like you said, serious. Let's start a podcast and we'll call no, it panties they, in the mouth. They started a podcast before me. I was just like quiet. And then like I got fired from Man Shane and started working on it. <laughs> You're back at Man Shane. Yeah, I'm now, back though, now. Right? Yeah. I'm back, dude. <laughs> I'm back. How did the firing go? Uh, it was actually Did they pretty... sit you down? <laughs> I mean, obviously. Yeah, it was, they have yeah. HR come in? Matt, I think we were, it was Matt. It was me and Matt. <laughs> it was it. Matt was like, uh, hey, man. you met... Well, because there was an episode of, uh, there was a Josh Adam Myers episode that didn't have video because I messed up getting the card out of the, <sighs> yeah, the camera. And he was like, Damn. yo, man, I'm sorry, dude. It was more than that. That was just the final straw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was a bad Multiple. producer yeah. all the way up. Bad audio. Sometimes I was just eating food real loud. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, can't yeah, have that. It was that. an awful time. But so yeah. Matt, So Matt sat you down. What was the whole conversation? He like? was like, hey, man, uh, you've been messing up a lot. I think it'd be better getting Sean Gardini in. And I was like, yeah, you're you're actually, he's probably so much, he's so much better. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> he he's, does this. Like, he went to school for it. Yeah. He would be so much better. You're right. There was no part of your mind that was like, man, fuck these dudes. They're fucking me over. Not, like, at, <laughs> not at all. Really? Dude. Nah. Because they fucking. I feel like it's just natural human instinct to, to like want to defend yourself instead of just being like. Wait, that that you're exactly right. Yeah, no, they were so right because I wasn't like. <laughs> Did you know it was coming? No, I well a the little, but you. like it was. Yeah, it was the pandemic, and I had that fucking pandemic cash, so I didn't like. Oh, so I you were kind of no I was like, yeah, yeah you're like, all right, fuck cool, yeah, this makes sense, dude. You're right. I can just play video games all day. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> and I also I started like a, when I first I was like breaking up with a girl. I started seeing another girl. So I was getting those new and old cuddles at the same time. Dang. Oh, your hey, brain nah. was mush. Yeah, my your brain, brain was you, mush. Yeah, you didn't have time for the yourself. cast. I was, I wasn't. You're I wasn't, a busy man. Yeah. You're going to play video games and fuck. <laughs> I don't have time to be doing all this producing dude. shit. Yeah. I don't fuck. I cuddle. Damn. <laughs> but you were going from one group of cuddling tendencies to another group of cuddling tendencies. Yeah. You were kind of like flourishing in a new way. Yeah. But you're back now. You're back. They yeah, hired you I'm back. back now. I'm so happy I'm back. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. How's that going? It's awesome, dude. It's so good. It's the best. It's the funniest. We yeah. You, are, you are, are you one of Matt's men? You're like yeah. one of the team McCusker? Yeah. So what was the combo yeah. about Gardini them hiring was telling you back? me he hired like 20 dudes. Huh? Gardini was telling me that Matt hired like 20 dudes. I don't know how many guys... dudes, but if I'm part of the force, I'm part of the force, dude. <laughs> like you drive them around and shit? I don't drive them around and shit. I mean, I drive them to the podcast. Yeah. yeah. And maybe I drive them home. Yeah. <laughs> but like, that's a part of my duties. <laughs> yeah. Damn. 
I got to get, I wish I had a fucking team. I need a team. Dude, you got to get a team. Yeah. I don't know what they but would you do. You have nowhere to get your, driven. Yeah. There's, where are you going to get driven to? Subway the, everywhere. The <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where would, yeah. I don't you know. Gotta, like, uh, you need an Uber. You need a $8 Uber ride. I know. Yeah. I need a driver. I need a personal driver. Yeah, dude. So I don't even like driving in the city. I hate taking Ubers. I like, or like, you mean you don't like physically being behind the wheel? Or no, like I like driving. I, I, I hate being in a car in the city. Yeah, it it's just you're just stopped the whole time. Yeah. You're stationary always. I took the uh, Revel scooter. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not used to big times. I'm going to say brands names. Revel, yeah. I'm no, going to yeah. say the names. Oh, guys. you're good to say brand you names. You guys, Revel's actually a huge competitor. You guys, blank him out if you got it. But I'm going to say the names, okay? <laughs> yeah. No, I've it's going to make it seem like you're saying like <laughs> some type of slur scooter. Dude, come on, dude. I've I had take a- the <laughs> scooters. <laughs> you I had a whole pile of water. I had a whole pile of water. You had a whole pile of water. Damn. Hey. Oh man, <laughs> those things are strong. Come on, bro. Those are those are ten percent alcohol. You guys might want to black out the rival studio name too. But I took a rebel scooter here from Gas Digital. <laughs> that was fun. Let's get. That's uh, the best way to ride around the city. In one should of I go scooters. get you another pirate water, bro? Oh well, look, man. You guys are trying to get me drunk here. Yeah. <laughs> you were trying to get drunk. You're right. I was you came trying in here to get and drunk. He said, right. he said, I've done multiple podcasts today and no one gave yeah, me beers. You know what? You're right. I did get into the city at 11 a.m. and nobody gave me a beer, which is very rude. Yeah. No. No, we got yeah, you. We digital, overcompensated dude. by giving you. you Brianna chicken fries uh, drink. <laughs> sex on the beach. Does yeah. that taste like sex on the beach? Yeah. That's one of my favorite flavors. Have you ever had sex on the beach? No. No? Yeah. Have you? No. A, be- a, a beach orgy at like a pig roast. <laughs> I want to hear more about the orgies. Dude. I've never been to one. What do you want to know? <laughs> With the fact that you're that interested or like have friends that are in the world, it yeah. just seems so. Uh, TJ's pleasure garden. Yeah, it's crazy that I'm interested, but also a coward. Like I'm afraid to go. But uh, maybe it's you're you got. Like I mean, at some point, you, you can just go for the food too, though. <laughs> Charcuterie board. I just got to get hungry enough. I'm like mm. <laughs> charcuterie would be. Boy, you know? oh boy! You what know are tickets right usually? Now? What do tickets usually go for for the orgy? All right, for a couple, I think it's like sixty. For like a single man, it's like a hundred. A hundred. So like that's like just going up. to a Vegas buffet. Yeah, you can clean up owning an orgy like house. You can make a lot of money. <laughs> Owning an orgy, franchising out your orgy. Owning a secret club, (laughs) private club. (laughs) Are they legal? Orgies are legal, right? Is it legal to charge for them though? You technically could be like, we're charging for the food. Probably. It's for the buffet. That's probably why they have food about this. I don't know if it counts as a brothel or anything like that. What would it be? A sex house? We should have sex houses. That'd be cool. It sounds like we do. TJ's Pleasure Garden. (laughs) That's a sex house Oh man, I hope they don't like go out of business that'd be the worst yeah you are you are worried about tj's pleasure garden getting no, uh not for no, me i've been TJ's pleasure just... garden so much advertising right now <sighs> fucking tj's I, pleasure the door's dude, gonna be out the line's gonna be out the door i learned of a new it's place like when too. dave does a good pizza review this one <laughs> yeah, uh, we were, i drove eight hours to come to tj's pleasure you, garden i'm in from michigan i found uh another place another <laughs> club near my house but i'm a, i'm afraid to go to i want to go that's why I won't say the name. I'm not going to say the name. Don't say the name. Don't say the name. But, but I want to go. I want to go. So how'd you hear about it, though? Reddit, dude. Yeah? There what are the Reddit pages? Said Reddit. You ever gone to... There's a Gone Wild. So they're called Gone Wild. It's like... Like New York Gone Wild? Yeah. It's uh, New York is... one of, NYC Gone Wild. New York has to, like... I'm going to yeah. go on it right now. <laughs> I'm going to go on it NYC right, right now. Wild. All right. <laughs> Um, what was that? A push pop? Was that? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh, What's Corsica? Cool. I can't. I can't. Diego, drink this, bro. <laughs> Dude, Diego had two now. Yeah. Isn't Diego new? Yeah. How do you? How do we haze him? No, I mean not haze. I agree though. No. <laughs> Diego is new. You gotta give him some kind of. This is my first time too, Diego. So we have to do whatever together. We we got a smooch. <laughs> Sorry, I get two no, power no, orders in there, bro. You gotta kiss, kiss our guest, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Diego, don't be fucking gay. Kiss me. <laughs> I mean, oh, NYC Gone Wild has four hundred people in it. That's not a lot of people. Do you want me to go to my actual Reddit and show you one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like SoCal Gone Wild, NorCal, NYC. SoCal Gone Wild. You're gonna, You're gonna make me go to my out porn out Reddit, dude. Oh, SoCal Gone Wild's got hundred sixty-eight thousand people in yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, there you go. 
There's, Damn. Yeah, some groups are crazier. New York, you have to like. There's a you have to like go by borough in New York. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. That makes sense. So where are you yeah. where are you staying tonight? You're about to hit lower lower Manhattan. No, not tonight, dude. I'm I'm anti horny tonight. I'm off. I'm off the. I'm off the horn. That's good. Yeah, I'm Giving trying yourself not to a be break. horny, dude. Lamar yeah. gone wild. That should out. be a whole subreddit. <laughs> Bro, why don't you host? Why don't you fucking, uh, in, instead of like trying to get into one, yeah. why don't you bring them to you? Like, I feel like this is an mm. obvious solution. You're saying how lucrative it could be. You're saying that like <laughs> yeah. you don't want to dip the toe. And you just really would just have yeah. to get a bathrobe or like a silver Lamar's robe. pleasure garden. You know what? There is no <laughs> there is no couch in my front room. I could just put down like six mattresses. Is that how it is? They just got it's like a like a bouncy floor. No, I think there's there's a bunch of like a it's like an obstacle course. <laughs> 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 it's just a bunch of couches. Yeah, like monkey bars. <laughs> it's and like shit. American Gladiator yeah. set up. <laughs> Trampolines. So it's shooting tennis balls yeah. at you. Yeah. I'm like, gonna set up an orgy mansion so it's like a mystery in the room too. Damn, like an escape room. Yeah. Like you could fuck in between the games. Yeah. The, that would be a crazy. drain room. <laughs> Lemaire, this could be like your big break. Yeah, dude. Orgy no, Mansion. Lemaire's really, Pleasure Palace. Do you want to know my actual real ideal? Yeah. Deal? This counts as trademark. 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 Dude. Trademark. No one can use this. No one can take this. Trademark it. Make a backpack for the blind. <laughs> a backpack for the blind? Yeah. What is it? Made of because, braille? Because like, you think about the way blind people have been walking around, it's been obtrusive. <laughs> I if think they have be, backpacks. No. They have <laughs> Not backpacks, a good backpack. Well, listen, dude. <laughs> if you got a backpack, you still need a walking stick or some fucking dumb dog. Yeah. You know? And you can't even pet the dog, which is the worst no, type of dog. because they're on the clock. It's the worst dog. Yeah. An unpettable dog? Get yeah. them out of here. Take them to the shelter. Right. You yeah. could, it might as well be an anteater or something. Yeah. If you're just going to be unpettable, <laughs> yeah. it might as well be gross and scaly. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, if fucking I was blind, I'd have a fucking like, wolf or some shit. <laughs> but wait, why do they need backpacks? What the fuck? Are you... the wolf, dude. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean backpacks yeah. for the blind? Yeah. Yeah. You, you got to expand on backpacks for the blind. The backpack for the blind, you wear it and it tells you where you're going. We already have that technology. Like the components to make this already exist. Nobody's ever like iterated on blind technology because they're like, the stick's enough. We got a dog, you know? <laughs> yeah, but what does the backpack do? The backpack, it connects to your phone and it tells you where to go. All right. It can see. Why, like why a, a backpack though? Why not just like an app? Well, because the app doesn't have enough technology to see. You'd have to like hold it or whatever. So would the backpack have video on person. like the straps oh, or something I see. or sensors it maybe or something? Yeah. All right. Now, now you're getting somewhere. You want to know the sensors? They're called LIDAR sensors. LIDAR? Template, temp, the, the, the sensors they use to uh, they use to check the depth and stuff for cars, the, the depth and see what's right. Right. Like on a Tesla, you see if there's like a bike going yeah. past you or a truck yep. or whatever. You put it on a strap. And then you connect to your phone and the strap also you put some dual shock in there or something. So it also <laughs> vibrates. It's like go left, go right, go right, whatever, you know? So it's just yeah. headphones and an app. All right. Dude, come that on, actually man. is a pretty good idea. Come on, man, dude. Why don't you get this mate going shark tank? <sighs> then I'd have to draw. Yeah, you do have to draw. <laughs> Drawing seems to be the least of the concerns. You seem like you'd be a great drawer. There's a there's a a, a blind house right down the block, like um a building full of blinds. Yeah. At, at, <laughs> At the fuck at Twenty Third Street, a blindery. Yes. A blindery. There's a blindatorium <laughs> down there, and they're just fucking like these are the test people that you need. And yeah. sometimes there'll be heroes like walking them down the block or yeah. crossing the street with them. But for the most part, like, yeah, they're just on their own being blind out here. I feel like if Dude. you get in one of these guys' ears. Because there's probably some rich blind people. But isn't it annoying to have somebody holding you all the time? It's like, yeah, fucking hey, dude, I hate cuddling. <laughs> You've been talking about how you're a cuddler. Dude, I love cuddling. I'm just, I'm being a blind person who hates it. I love it. Personally, I'll cuddle all day, dude. You ever have a cuddle supreme? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think I might have one. Blind people ever? probably, dude, they probably feel cuddling so much more because they have more like, uh, <laughs> like, it's like. Yeah, yeah it's like sensitive. daredevil. Yeah. yeah, They can like smell your breath through the their The guy just comes pores. from cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. Blind people probably love to cuddle. I, I could, I, I pre-cum during cuddles, dude. Get the other stuff out of the way. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, because you, you know I like the cuddle, so I'll cuddle for cuddle. like an hour, dude. And just are you like talking cuddle. about a you're spooning or you're like yeah, just or all kinds spooning, of like spooning? All are types you talking about a makeout session, dude? Uh, Seems like you might be hot mouthing. There's some there's some cuddling, 
there's cuddling, but then there's some, you know, make out in between, you know, just to keep like, yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. got it. We can't keep the, you know, we got to like, sure. make the cuddle more interesting. Yeah. Just like, please, I do want to have sex with you, but I do actually really just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Like, no lie. I love this. <laughs> like, yeah. That's sick. You're there yeah. to cuddle. You might be a furry deep down. Have you ever tried yeah. to do that? Nah, <laughs> I, uh, my dick's too low for a suit. <laughs> oh, no. But I thought I a lot wanna... of being a furry is about the hugging and cuddling nah, and shit. I'd be a fucking cuddle, cur- furry. I'm not, a, I'm not. I think furries fuck. Hmm. Do they in the furries? Do you have a fursona? I think so. Do you know yours? I need to get a fursona. You, no. you know, what, you know, How do you what? get it? Is it like a generator? You have to go on a journey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't been on my furry journey yeah, you yet. You gotta dude. go on your furry journey. I'm what is that? You like figure out what kind of furry you are? Yeah, you gotta be like, yeah. Yeah. All right. What, which one were you? Did You'd you do be it? a sloth, dude. Sloth? Why? Yeah. Or 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 no, the you Grinch? <laughs> the Grinch? God damn! I feel like I'd be more of like a lion or a bear. No, no, no. Yeah. you'd be a sloth. No, yeah. dude. If you were a bear, you ever see? They are never. Aren't they yeah. all just wolves? No, all furries? furries. Yeah, I thought that they were all bears. They're not all wolves. There's 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 different types of furries, man. Have you heard? Of, there's also a type of fae. There's fae. Fae are fairies. They're Ooh. like people who believe they're fairies. What is fae? What, the, what does that even stand for? Fairies? <laughs> really? Oh, fae. It's, it's like mythological talk or whatever. Damn. It's like Norse talk or some shit. So do the fairies and the and the furries ever fuck or is that like forbidden? That's like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, dude. You know mythical shit happens all the time. People yeah. Crossover fanfics. It was just gods <laughs> fucking humans and shit like dude. that. And that's the Bible, brother. Yeah, that's that is the, the Bible. That's, that's just the straight Bible up classic down. truth. Yeah. I always wonder how people find out that they're into being a fairy or, or a, a fig or, or a fairy, yeah. yeah. Like, how do you become well, that? They watch you know from a young age. They watch anime and they don't have enough pills for their mental illness. So then <laughs> <laughs> they just manifest. It got to be super online. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be a whole Dude, different totally. Reddit. They're destroyed by Twitter. I'm. Some people are racist because of Twitter. Like the Twitter can just Twitter destroys people. Yeah, because like you ever just see something you're like. Oh my god! And then it just shows you that all the time. Yeah, the whole new algorithm—it's just always showing you yeah. bad shit. Yeah, just people dying. Yeah, racist stuff. Yeah, I hate it. I, I hate, hate it too. It. You're big on Twitter though. You're always tweeting. I I recently I'm always seeing Lamar on the timeline. I just started to like tweeting. I used to hate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But then I like, oh, don't take it seriously. Just fucking be what you say, what you want. Yeah, yeah. You getting any good True. takes off? Uh, no. I've been thinking about something. That's a real hard take to say on anything. <laughs> yeah. This is the place then, brother. No, it's not. Close the door. We'll, no, let's no, let, we'll no, lock no, the door. No, 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 no. Another time. Give me, <laughs> yeah. give me a couple more months to get my courageous. No, say no, that yeah, shit. No, we, no, we'll, no. We'll, we'll say it and we'll delete it. No I just want to hear it. Or push no, the mic away no, for no, you. No, 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 I'm no, worried. No. I'm, s- <laughs> I'm scared about what it's going to be. Who's it about? Scared, what dude. group is it about? Dude. Yes, dude. Children? No, I think it's about this one. This I'll give you my second most intense take okay. that I'm sort of afraid to say, but I'm not really afraid to say. Okay. It's about uh, black people and how... Uh, this is coming from you, not yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes... <laughs> sometimes... <laughs> The other guys are right about us. Oh, Lemaire, you don't want to be saying this. <laughs> You're appeasing to the white man. No, I'm not appeasing the white man. I'm trying to talk to black people. Because well, you're like, talking to this is the wrong podcast I know, for that, dude. I know. There's a couple of us out there, dude. <laughs> there's gonna be people who are listening, like, yeah, we're like, we are right about this. <laughs> Look, some you're of the encouraging stuff, them. Yes, and some of it is misunderstanding of the culture, like loud music. That's a misunderstanding of the culture. But this is me talking to black people as a person that white people come to to explain black people shit. Yeah. Oh, and I'm in the wrong place, I guess. No, but <laughs> no, you are, no. Like, no, 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 no. Get it no, off I'm your joking. chest, dude. Please. You're, yeah. You're more than welcome to. So, like, yeah, just just chill out a little bit. All right. We'll get that on a quote. We'll get that on a quote card. <laughs> chill out. The mayor has a bl- has a message for They're black watching, people. They're watching, dude. I saw. I saw. <laughs> chill uh, out a little bit. Dude, I saw, uh, <laughs> there was, I was at a show the other day in Virginia, I was at a show and it was this place they were having, they had Pokemon cards, yeah. but on the Pokemon cards were like rappers. Oh, so okay. they had like a King Von Pokemon card, like a, a G Herbo, like, uh, 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 um, who's the guy who just got, never mind. Von? Who? He had, there was like a lot of dead rappers on it too. And it was a shop for sure owned by a white guy and white, it was like white artists and it for sure like, and I was like, yo, they're seeing this shit too. It was the first time I really like conceived 
that white people are seeing the shit that black people are doing and that sometimes you gotta be like, yo, dude, we need to chill out. <laughs> what kind like, of stuff what, that, what do, you, what do you mean that the stuff that, <laughs> nah, dude, no, <laughs> dude, you know what I mean? Dude, come on, dude. I don't, I don't, I have no idea. I don't know. Also, is it hot yeah. as shit in here? Yeah. Did they, did the AC like break or something? No, it's just these spicy hot takes. That's why I need to hear number one. No, I don't want to hear number one. <laughs> no, I, 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 I got enough bad. from number two. I don't even want to know what <laughs> number one is. I need to know what number one but I also, is. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of conversation, dude. I love talking about things. Totally. Uh, like that people don't like talking about, you know? Yeah, you like to push the boundaries. Not push your boundaries. It's just like a, open, a complete open conversation. Yeah, just being curious about some shit. Yeah. Like, Lamar, you're going- I would love to ask Jewish people about taxes. Oh hell like, yeah! How do I how do I win? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you <know>? fuck it. <laughs> do, you have, do you have any Jewish friends? No, none of them are like money Jews. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you broke Jewish friends? <laughs> none of them are fucking. No, nah, they're not broke. They Harry just like, Potter Jews. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the right. goblin. Yeah, I gotta chill. This power water's got me arg, dude. Arg, <laughs> arg. You gotta yeah, chill. No, that's because you're sipping on the Miami Vice right now. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, he went from the sex on the beach to the Miami. Vice. That's a dangerous combo. The Miami Vice. I've never seen a man go from sex on the beach to Miami Vice and make it out alive. <laughs> from the orange to the red he yeah. went from the orange to the red look yeah, dude, how I dense see, it is it's i still beautiful. got a podcast and a show to do after yeah this. what yeah. show are you doing in brooklyn yeah. uh i don't know comedy chaos i can't remember yeah where are you, where are you going on the road you're going on the road a lot <laughs> oh yeah uh june 23rd june 24th i've been fucking uh foxborough massachusetts at the comedy scene hell yeah go see lamare july 21st i'm at a uh, place in Rhode Island. I can't remember, but follow me. I'll post it. Yeah. And then the July 22nd is another Massachusetts place, and that's at the Nook. Yeah. There's more shows coming. I just got to talk to people. Who, uh, <laughs> fuck yeah. Who books your yeah. shows? Uh, me. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I'm my guy right now. You got but, it out the fucking mud. Let's go. Dude. Yeah. Good yeah. for you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Is it hard? Yeah. Is it is it worth it? It seems like you're getting booked places pretty easily. Yeah. It's well to, for me to do it. Yeah. Is it worth it? Yeah. Yes. But also, I am in the market talking to people. Yeah. 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 I, yeah I have a friend. I'm going to be like, yo, dude, fucking A, hey, dude. <laughs> Shit's coming. Help me. It's so interesting yeah. how like uh, comedians and podcasters in that world are like independent contractors of their own where they have to like hire and fire people. Like, yeah. Like those who's like the fact that they fired you and then like yeah. hired you back or yeah. that like you employ someone sass that yeah. you, you like at some point could fire or like, like if they're not doing a good job or like, you know what I mean? Like everybody in comedy who has agents like yeah. might have to fire those people. Yeah, that sucks. I don't want to ever have to fire I feel anybody. like that takes so much like balls and like uh, uncomfortable yeah. conversation that like. It is weird to that that like you like that to think that i could fire someone i, I always feel yeah. like they're gonna fire me even though technically <laughs> they work for me yeah i know it's very weird it's got to be exhilarating to fire the fuck out nah, of hell dude. no that probably sucks nah dude you've been owning businesses for a long time you're used to <laughs> like firing people dude. <laughs> have you ever fired anybody uh have i ever fired anybody for any job no i usually because a lot of recently people have been like doing some stuff Stuff for me for free, but I usually throw them scratch. Usually, don't come asking for me to be free. Usually, <laughs> for I'll the people that money. didn't get paid, all right. Yeah. There's a reason for that. Your yeah, work wasn't you good enough. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You didn't earn that money. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm mean, but that's, you know, I'm being a <laughs> business. Get better. Man. I mean, they, they'll get better if yeah. you. That's what Portnoy used to do to us, man. Yeah. Dude, you're a business and man. Look what, look what Portnoy built, dude. Look what he built. I know, free shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought? Who would have thought we'd be sitting here drinking Miami Vices right now? Yeah, I'm gonna drink this on a scooter. <laughs> yeah. Bring the unopened scooter one scooter back to your down next to Gas podcast. Digital. Yeah, yeah bring, dude. Bring it back to Gas. Yeah. Who's over at Gas Digital? What the fuck? Right what now? kind of operation they have going on over it's there? One of, it's Lewis Gomez. It's one of the best operations in the world, dude. What's their layout it's like? Legion of Skanks. They got three studios right now. God damn. Three studios. You got kitchen. It's pretty nice. It smells good in there. Is there yeah. a clean floor? It's clean in yeah. there. They, well, this is this is actually like really uh this is like one of their most like open things recently. But they did have to fire their office manager recently Damn. because uh 
She was a fine Asian ting. She was fucking beautiful. <laughs> they had to get rid and of her. That's why they fired her. No, she was distracting everyone. No, I'm sorry, baby, you're when, too fine. Do you remember when Dave Smith interviewed RFK? No, I didn't know he did well, that. Dave, but. Dave Smith of Legion of Skanks and part of the problem on his podcast, part of the problem. He uh he interviewed Robert F Kennedy Jr. and then she went to a security and started asking them about JFK shit and talking to him about that. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Like, and they had to give it the chop. Get of, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. I feel like he that guy's the most like open minded. Like uh he'll like entertain any conversation. Yeah. You yeah. think he talked for like uh like four hours about like <laughs> vaccines and <laughs> autism Joe and Rogan. then was like, whoa, whoa, don't ask me about my family. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I wish I could do his frog voice. His fucking beat up ass <laughs> voice. <laughs> I haven't listened to anything that he's done, but everyone keeps talking about him. Gardini keeps on sending me quotes of his. Uh Gardini texted me this morning. I'm gonna say, dude, he's the man. I love him. He seems pretty cool. <laughs> I feel he like all his cool. a lot of his talking points are like, I didn't used to see autism, and now I see a bunch of it. Like, what the hell, dude? He's right, dude. <laughs> what he, the hell happened to these kids? <laughs> or he's like, said it is more important to be of service than successful. <sighs> Gardini sent me that this morning, and they sent me last night. It said it's quite stunning to watch liberals applauding censorship, particularly the muzzling of the bullied mothers of injured children in order to protect pharmaceutical products from criticism. I don't know what that means at all. That doesn't sound like Gardini at all. No, that's not. It's Robert. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. oh okay. Gardini, Gardini, saying that? Gardini's sending me these things, though. I don't he know why. Dude, he's trying to let you know. Yeah. He sees you, dude. He's probably trying to get me fucking to vote for RFK. Dude, I, can I be honest? I'm doing it. You're going to vote for him? I'm a little far we gotta get this on a we gotta get this on a quote card too. <laughs> what did you hear of what he hot. said that, that this made is piping you, hot? What what did you hear that made you say like that's my guy? Well, he's the only one being like he's the only person. Like, think about this. In the last like 10 to 12 years, he's the only person being like, I'll listen to you. Tell me if I'm wrong. Damn straight. That's it. That's it. So that if you can prove me wrong, I'll accept it. And he does. Like he's like, I don't know enough. I don't like so far. So Ex he's the only guy that's open to conversation. And that fine Asian secretary tried to have a conversation with him, and they <laughs> fired her. It wasn't her choice to get so fired. So wait, was she asking him, or was she was no, asking? No, she didn't ask him. She was, she was asking like the security guys. Yeah, the security guys. Damn, yeah. that's wild. That's a security wild move by her. Snitched, it's a ballsy dude. move. Yeah, security guy snitch. It wasn't RFK. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. surprised they fired her. Yeah, for asking yeah, the questions? Right. You've got to yeah, ask yeah. the questions. You, you have one chance. Questions, She's trying to get intel. Yeah. One chance. She's trying to figure out what really happens. <laughs> the Kennedys are wild, though. They have, like Half of their family just drops dead like every year. Yes. But there's drop also dead. like 85,000 of them. Yo, Sash, shut the fuck up, They dude. do. They drop dead all the time. Sash, shut the fuck up, dude. You're going to get, on, we're we're gonna get, get dropped next. dead. I'm just trying to vote for one guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you must know something. You know I don't something, know anything. That's why I you're just, voting for him. I like you're next. You must be next on the hit list. Literally anyone who the Kennedys take out Lemaire. Anyone <laughs> you talk to, they're like who listens to him is like they're like Lemaire's scooter crashed after <laughs> yeah. he had too much pirate water. <laughs> <laughs> too many pirate waters. <laughs> they run you off the road. Dude, right off the bridge. <laughs> That'd be so fucked. Uh, what I think needs to happen is I think you need to hire this fine Asian secretary for yeah. pa panties in my mouth. Yeah, panties in my mouth. She could help like run the uh Lemaire's yeah. pleasure palace. If you guys or angles. if you guys, if everybody who listens to Son of a Boy Dad subscribes to patreon.com slash PITM, maybe we can. Fuck yeah. Maybe we PITM. Yeah, panties in the mouth. Let's go, panties in the mouth. <laughs> we play Dungeons and Dragons on there. We're about to do a full day so we can finish the series, so you guys can get those. Fuck yeah, yeah. We'll go see Lemare on the road. Oh yeah, come to my shows too. Yeah, please do all that shit. <laughs> yeah, and Buy subscribe to his that. Patreon. Yeah, watch this his was YouTube. fun, right? Yes, this was a great time. This I feel like you barely us. touched your pyro water though. I I fuck, I touched this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no need I for touch you. Bro. Once I started getting real conversations, I was like, yo, dude, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to be off the pirate waters talking yeah. RFK. Yeah, I know, dude. You got to be respectful when you talk RFK. Yeah. My president, RFK. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us, Lamar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Imagine, bro. Thank appreciate you. Guys. Dude, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. I hope that was fun. It was <laughs> fun. It was great. Bad, bro. <laughs>